Welcome back. I'm Craig O'Neill. As we continue our customer journey, we are now going to take a look at the final quality control form in Auto Text Me. It is the last worksheet in the visit. Let's take a look. We'll begin on the active customer page where we can access the quality control form in a variety of places. The first place is the drop down menu. You can, of course, choose it from here, or if it's already in the quality control status, the button, the dynamic button here, will change to the sheet that you'll be working on next. You can, of course, also click on the form directly within the workflow. That's what we'll do here. We'll go ahead and open that sheet right up. Now, the quality control form can be performed by any individual staff member on the team. So that means the administrator, the service writer, or the technician can all access this form and perform it to completion. Right away, you should notice the quality control form has a lot of similar characteristics as other worksheets in Auto Text Me. These detail sections are able to be collapsed. These are going to be identical to the DVI and QC. We do have some flags at the top as well that'll show you the status of completion for either the DVI or the work order from this phase. Now, in this example, I'm using a very short list of items. This is a customizable list. Administrators are able to build their own quality control sheets. You can have multiple sheets. So you can choose that from a drop down if there's more than one type of sheet your shop will be offering. This is the top section where you'll find that. Now, once you find a problem, this is key, you will mark that item as green, red, or not applicable perhaps. Now, when you're going through and you have anything to say that was maybe not great <laughs> with the visit, you can go ahead and mark that as red. The thing is, you need to remember, we want to track how many issues we are catching. So what we don't want to see you do is go and take that and mark it green after you fix the issue. That's what this addressed column is for. And this is right here on this side of the screen. You'll notice we can click that button and that's going to allow us to indicate that we've taken care of whatever it was that we found wrong. Now, beyond that, we want to make sure we document this. These notes will be saved in reports. Notes are very simple. We can go ahead and type whatever we need to in this field. I can say something about how Lee left footprints on the floor mat. This is not to beat people up. It is just to keep our teams accountable. And we do want to celebrate these findings. But we also want to make sure we're attributing the reason that it was marked red. From here, you can, of course, add a picture or a video. Now, this is going to work identical to the DVI. You'll be able to do captions. Videos will be limited to 60 seconds each, but you can do a video per line item on these forms. Then, once you hit Submit Report, this is where the next piece comes in, and it's particularly valuable for service writers. When I hit Submit, it is giving me an opportunity, and this is optional. The administrator can turn this feature on or off. It's giving us the option to make that uh, authorization note for our DVI items. This is pulling all the red and yellow items from our DVI, and we get to compare which ones were approved and which ones were not in this visit. This particular example that I did, we only did a couple of jobs from here. So we're going to go ahead and mark those three and leave that air filter unchecked as it was not approved. Also, go back and reference your DVI before making these toggles here. This is done after this QC form is submitted, and this is making an edit on your digital inspection, making sure that this is going to work great for Auto Text Me's additional items, such as the rainy day folder, some of the follow ups that we can do for unaddressed items from your client's inspection sheet. We hope this has been useful. We'll talk about reporting in another session. We have some webinars on our website that you can go ahead and take a look at that discuss quality control processes in view of the larger process a little bit more in depth. We hope you'll check that out. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.